I hope I never disappear. What's going on, PD peeps? It's Saturday. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to do the disappearing effect using PowerDirector 18 and PowerDirector 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use PowerDirector, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in PowerDirector. The disappear effect makes it seem that you made an object disappear right from your hand like you're some kind of mystical, magical, supreme being. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the disappear effect for your videos. Let's make some magic. As you can see, I have a clip in the timeline. So let's talk about this clip and how I set up the shot. If I play this clip back, you'll see that it's a clip of me looking at the object in my hand. Then I go ahead and I drop the object. And then I look and boom, it's disappeared. So blah, 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 it's off the screen. Now, as you can see, when I drop the object, I barely move my hand. I'm trying to move as little as possible. And to do that, I have a really loose grip on the object so that it's easier for me to drop it without moving. Then after that, I remain as still as possible for about a second, second and a half. And I'm trying to just focus on my in, on my hand with nothing in it, just like I was focusing on my hand when I had the object in it. And then after that, if I play this back, you'll see that I make a motion like the object disappeared from my hand while keeping my face as still as possible because I have to transition from having something in my hand to nothing in my hand. So I have to keep my face on that hand. Then after that, I kind of look forward like, ha, it disappeared from my hand. All right. So the key to pulling this off is making sure that you set up and film the scene correctly and stay as still as possible until you do that motion and until you look at the screen. So now that we talked about the shot, let's get down to editing. So I'm going to tap on the timeline and I'm going to go ahead and tap on the home button on my keyboard that'll send my playhead to the beginning of the timeline. So now I want to stretch out my timeline because I want to be able to see each frame. So I'm going to go ahead and left click up here in the timeline section and move this over. And I think that's pretty good right there. I should be able to get between frame to frame by having it at that size. Now you want to move your playhead to the last spot where the object is in the hand of the subject. So let's go ahead and try to find that. Okay, it's starting to move there. I think that's pretty good there. So once you get to that point, you want to go ahead and split your clip. So you can use the split clip button or you can do control T on your keyboard and it'll split that clip right there where your playhead is. Now you want to move your playhead to a spot one frame after the subject creates the motion of the item disappearing and you want to split the clip there. So let's go ahead and grab the playhead and let's move it to the spot. And that's good there. And we're going to go ahead and do control T to split that clip right there. Now we want to go ahead and get rid of this middle section because we don't need any of this. We want it to go right from where he had it in his hand to where that motion starts. So we're going to click on this middle section here and we're going to do control delete on our keyboard and it will delete that section and it'll go ahead and move the section behind it forward. Now, let's go ahead and play this back and see what it looks like. Abracadabra. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy PowerDirector in the video description. I know you want more PowerDirector love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.